Hey, what's up, friends? It's Moses, our driver success. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Today is my first day back to work, but first, I need to do some errands because I'm a family man. I remember when the first uh, time I heard of the idea of Walmart doing their grocery stuff. I'm like, how will I ever trust them to pick the right groceries for me? I just couldn't see it happen, but guess what? They really, really do a good job. And um, at least for us men, it is a time saver. It saves you time, it saves you money. Now for some women, maybe they may want to go out and you know, like um, shop because shopping is their thing. But for us, I love the service. Yes, ma'am. All right, you're good to go. Thank you. I lost you, baby. I said goodbye with tears inside. Calling out your name as you shut the door behind you. And now I wonder why won't you come back? I have a refer load, and for every refer load, we have to make calls to the refer unit. When we pick up from the, the rail, make the call or if we are picking up from the customer after we pick up the load from the customer we make that call so they take down like how much fuel we have if that uh, seal is intact and um, what else the temperature right now I'm heading to Cleburne uh, Walmart I'm not sure if this is gonna be a drop or a live load. They used to have live loads, but now we can also drop. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be a drop or a live, a live load. And then... Turn left on Intermodal Parkway. When I'm done with that, I do have uh, a pickup in Waco, Coca-Cola. It's also gonna be a river load. So I like that. To refer loads. By the way, refer loads pay a little more than the dry loads. turns out it's gonna be a live unload so we'll see how long I'll be here but the good thing is from here I'm going to Waco which has its um, Waco is an open appointment so I don't have to worry about it look at that red truck Looks good, huh? Okay, there it is. Bad Boy Express. Baby. Mm -hmm. My life used to be in blue 
I'm done checking in. She says it's gonna take about two, two and a half hours, which isn't bad because there is a time I was here for about maybe five hours. So two and a half hours is just half of the time. You always have to put things into perspective that way you don't uh, get so, you know, like overwhelmed. One of the things that um, some people are afraid of uh, is to go over the road. I just want to encourage you if you are coming into trucking and you are afraid to go over the road, I'm going to encourage everyone that becomes a truck driver. Uh, even if you have an opportunity to just, you know, like train locally and stay locally and never go over the road because there are such opportunities, I'm going to encourage you to spend some time over the road. Um, for example, if maybe you are going through training and the training is going to be over the road, I want you to embrace that opportunity. Um, even if, if you can, even after training, if you can spend a few weeks, even maybe like a month by yourself after training over the road, uh, that would be good. Again, I'm saying if you can, I know some, some of you, the situation with your families may not really allow, but if you can, I would encourage it. And the reason is there is something about uh, tracking that kind of gets into your blood a little bit. Um, and I think everyone that gets into tracking should experience the world of over the road so that when you hear about uh, uh, when you hear people talk about uh, going over the road or some stories you can relate there's something good about having that experience if you remember um, in the last video i told you that one of the good things about tracking is that you can change um you know like based on your situations so if there uh, maybe like there's a time that comes in your life where uh things change and and the only thing you can do is to go over the road you won't be taken by surprise because you will have some experience in over the road because there's uh there's that experience where you will be driving going into places you would never dream of going I mean, when you go over the road, you'll go to some places that are like, they are places you would never ever imagine maybe exist. It's such an experience. So I want to encourage you not to be afraid of, of going over the road. Look at it as part of the tracking experience. So get that experience and then when you are done with a training, come back and do local work if you want. Uh, because there are opportunities out there. So don't be afraid to go over the road, at least even if it's just for training. And if you can, after training, when you go by yourself, try to go maybe like for a month by yourself and get that experience of being in a truck by yourself, going to places you've never been because you'll be caught up in situations uh, maybe like you don't have where to park what do you do maybe you go to places where there's no you know like cell phone network uh, the place is so rural out there there are no even like truck stops in such situations what do you do I mean there are experiences you will get that no that you can never get anywhere else so it is something that when you experience you will always keep as a memory and it's something that will you will always treasure i think you'll realize it when if you ever get out of tracking you will kind of feel it whereby you're like you miss certain things about tracking so as an encouragement for those of you that are coming into tracking embrace that um that time period where you are over the road training or getting some experience it is something that you will always keep as a treasure you will never lose that memory it will be important to you and it will also uh, be something that you can use uh, maybe to help out somebody else or even just talk um, talk about as an experience so don't be afraid of it embrace it go over the road get your training get your experience and then if you want come back and do your local work there's a lot of local work but getting that over the road experience is something that 
um, you don't want anybody to tell you about it, you just want to experience it. Now it's mostly filled with gloom, I miss you baby, yeah, I miss you baby. I said goodbye with tears inside, calling out your name.